Hey guys, welcome to another episode. I've finished off the designing for this room and this is what I've come up with. So, it's still going to change a bit. The corners, I've been trialling some different things. And the background behind the steps, I've been trying a few different things as well. But, besides that, it's pretty much finished. Now, what I've got here is a noob proof getting rid of your items tool pretty much so this bit here is just so you can't accidentally walk in get yourself trapped and even if you do accidentally walk in there you have to accidentally press the button before you die so it's pretty much retard proof that's what I made it for <laughs> anyway so this was just because I have so much stuff on me all the time that I don't want I can just chuck it in there I'll show you what happens actually press the button and the piston pulls the glass block away and it burns so that's a good way to get rid of items. Now I did leave it open just so I could show you guys what I've got going here. So there's the lighting redstone and here's the simple circuit. I just had to reverse it so the block was powered by default so the block was out over the lava and this just goes over the piston. So that's pretty simple if anyone wants to build one of them. Now I'm actually going to patch it up now. Like, oh, where's my axe at? There it is. And place it there. How did that... I hate steps so much. They're the best tool to build with, but I hate them. Alright. So that's one of the little redstone things I've been working on. Now, over here actually, there is going to be a 3x3 three three door. A massive redstone door here. Which is going to open up into another room. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to put the farms there. I was originally going to put the farms in here. But now that there's wood in here, it doesn't really suit having farms on wood. So I'm thinking of moving them to another room now. Maybe through the door. But I still haven't worked that out. So just stay tuned and you'll see what I end up doing there. Now, what else have I done? I don't know if you've seen me finishing off that room. But that's all done now. I reckon that looks alright. And I actually got a tip from one of my subscribers to upgrade my sugarcane farm. So I'll go ahead and show you the upgrades I did. Pretty much, this is the normal circuit I had. I just press the lever and it knocks all the sugarcane off. But, what I have upgraded it to is just this little circuit here. So this is just the bud switch. And most of you know what this is, but... It's basically, I think it stands for Block Update Detector. So, pretty much how this works is, when this sugarcane grows to this height, it'll activate this piston, push that block on top of that torch. And when that block's on top of that torch, it'll light up this circuit. It'll go around to here and push all the pistons activated. And it turns itself off because of these bits of redstone here, and it hard resets itself, pretty much. So that is how that works. Now, oh well, I actually burnt all my sugar. Is that what I burnt? <sighs> noob, Hayden, noob. So I've got one. Alright, I think I have some in the chest over here. Quickly go grab them. Why not? There they are. I still haven't finished doing this room, actually. That does look pretty dodgy, but I will get a, get onto that at some stage. So I'll show you this working pretty much. So all of this will grow by one. They'll all go bam, bam. All of these will be grown. This one will grow. And when this one grows to the final stage, bam. All of it falls down. Most of it falls into the water. And then it gets um, brought down to here. So eventually... If I'm AFK up there, this will just be growing, growing, growing. And eventually it'll all just build up down here. I come by, jump down, pick up like a stack of sugar cane. So, that is all good and that's how that works. I'm actually, I've got to go fix that up down here. I haven't quite done that yet. Get rid of these blocks. Whoa! Alright. So I'm actually going to keep the piston showing on the wall there. But, that doesn't really matter. I'll just cover this up. Alright. 
So that is now covered up. I will cover up the entrance over here as well. Because I shouldn't have to go back there again. Now to make sure none of those blocks interfered with it, I'm just going to test it one more time. Bam. Perfect. It's exactly what I want. It's not 100% efficient because of some of it getting stuck on the dirt. But, you know, that's pretty much, that's alright seeing as it's automatic now. It'll just slowly build up down here, and every now and again in the middle of my video, you'll hear doot doot, pistons moving. And of course, my little food dispenser is still working good. I need some food. There we go. Alright, guys. So I reckon my main base is going pretty well. I've got some good little redstone circuits going, a couple automated farms. I'm set up with all the food I need. I'm set up with my enchants. And I've started building some bigger structures, like like this room, for example. But, what I do need is an anvil now. forgot how to build this, but... It's something like this. How do anvils look, guys? Come on! Oh, yes! Bam, that's how an anvil looks. And so now I have an anvil. And for now, actually, the next room I'm probably going to build is a chest room now that I think about it. The rest of the farms can hold off because I definitely need a pimped out chest room because this is terrible. So for now, I guess I'll just put it here. And I got 21 levels. So let's see what's up with this. Chairman level 23 for renaming one letter. Are you shouldn't me? I think I'll pass on that. But I will have this axe for a while, so let's see how much this costs. Seven. That's more like it. Hades axe of wood cutting. That is the worst name ever, but I'll take it. No, I will not take it. That is freaking terrible. The woodcutter. Bam. That was probably a waste, but I will have a mob farm up soon. And enchants will not be a problem. I have this beast woodcutting axe now. And I'm going to play stairs there as well. That, that'll look good. Bam. Alright guys, so I'm probably going to get started on this room. I'll just get the outline of it done. Just so, I do need to find more slime balls, because I will need a lot of sticky pistons. So I can't actually start on the redstone this episode, but I'll probably be doing that next episode. So there's 3x3 three three door, and I'll knock out one more... S oh, will I do that? No, I'll put them back. Alright, so I'll knock my way through here, and I'll start just mining out the area, I guess, so I'm ready to start placing down all the redstone. Now, if you don't know how to build a 3x3 door, I actually have a tutorial that I just released a few days ago, so that'll be on my channel if you want to check how to build that. Pretty much my own design. It is using the basic design that everyone uses on my, on Minecraft, or on YouTube, but I don't actually know who made the original one, so I can't give credit to that, but whoever did, you deserve it, and good effort for designing that. But anyway, my design's a bit more high-tech than the other people's on YouTube. I included the input structure, so I had to open and close it with mine, with my own little silent T-flip-flop circuit. And, what should I do here? It actually doesn't look that good. This bit. Alright. So I will need heaps of room. So I'll just continue digging this out. I guess. Up here. I'm demolishing these blocks. They don't stand a chance. Alright guys, and some other news actually, I forgot to mention this. 
Um, besides my new intro and stuff, there's actually more new things coming to the channel. I um, actually just got accepted onto a new server, and I'm not going to release where it is yet or what server, but there's a good group of YouTubers on it, and I have been given access, and the video will be up within the next few days, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So that should help out my channel a lot, being a part of that server. So I hope you guys get into that series. Alright, that's good enough for now. I'll finish digging that out. Now I'm going to make some chests. That's what I'll do. For my chest room that I will get started on. I'll probably do it off camera, guys, because building a chest room isn't the funnest of things. I mean, it's pretty boring if you ask me, but I'm either going to build it behind that 3x3 three three door, or I could chuck it somewhere on this side of the room. Now, that's pretty much in the center. I think I did a good job of centering that just by guessing. But I do need a room for a farm, a room for a chest room, and I want to make one of them at least a 3x3 three three door, so that's alright, I guess. How many chests do I have? 16. Yeah, that's plenty, guys. So I'm going to get started on the design for the chest room and the other room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching. See ya!